a dull girl, you know.
star crazing glass great sword. Let's do this. Second test. I'll be your examiner this time, 
and I'll be testing your ability to defeat enemies with unconventional moves. Grandpa always said that everything can be a sword, and that there are endless possibilities for learning swordplay in this vast world. If you want to defeat your opponent, you'll need your own secret move. <laughs> Speaking of secret moves, I prepared some flaming potent tea. Huh? Is that the flaming potent tea from Arum Alley? You got it! I saw this immersion where the hero drank the flaming potent tea and started stumbling and shaking all over the place. But then he managed to defeat his father's murderer with his drunken sword play. Good example. Do you know how to do that drunken sword play? Uh, no. I figured I could just learn it by drinking flaming potent tea. That's not how it works in real life, Miss March. Absolutely! I've learned a lot from my adventures. I've heard you've traveled a lot, Miss March. I'm excited to see how you incorporate your experiences into your swordplay moves. Your opponent this time is similar to the IPC mechs. Unsheath your swords and give it everything you've got. According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready. Closer to star crazing glass great sword. were pretty unconventional, but the way you blended them into your swordplay was impressive. It's like you've developed your own unique style, Miss March. So, I thought you were just wasting your time traveling around with Yun Lee's encouragement. But it seems like it's paid off. Well, well. Looks like someone's finally seeing sense. Uh, thank you both for your guidance. So, uh, did I pass the test? Without a doubt, you aced it. Awesome! Hey, Mr. Teaching Assistant, isn't it about time you showered me with praise? Uh, I won't be modest this time. My skills have improved by leaps and bounds. General Jing Yuan once told me that everyone has the potential to be my master. Not just Cloud Knight instructors, 
but also artists and outsiders. Actually, I was once convinced by Gwynaifen into swallowing the sword. That's definitely not something you learn from regular practice. So, what do you think your odds are, March? Maybe around 30 or 40 percent? Well, I've gained a deeper understanding of swordplay, and I'm more aware of my own strengths now. By the way, in those immersion stories, the sword masters always hide their true strength before a decisive battle. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Hmm. From the test, I can tell that you still need some time to master your swordplay. But you did pretty well. Milk tea is on me today. The progress report on the Nameless Girl's sword training is complete. What should I do now, Special Scott? Huh? Are you being sarcastic or something? I mean, don't I have other important tasks to do? It feels like a bit of a waste of time to keep tabs on some random girl's swordplay training. A waste of time? No! This is about safeguarding the reputation of the IPC honor of the Amber Lord. Are you saying that March 7th can actually take down an Arumaton from the Artisanship Commission with a sword? Come on, an Arumaton is no match for our state-of-the-art mechs. Go and strengthen our mechs even further. I refuse to believe that little sliver of metal can actually challenge our cutting-edge technology. But the armor's already pretty thick. No, it's not enough. Reinforce it more. If I lose face, it's like losing face for the IPC and the Ember Lord. Can we afford to let that happen? Understood. <laughs> 